Okay, we've got people coming in. Excellent. How are you doing, everyone? Zoran, how are you doing, mate? I'll see if I can do something for that for you. Trevor Peters is in the house. Hey, how are you doing? Tyra, more. Oh, Tyra's here. Morning, Tyra. Nice things over in Canada. Uh, Fred Curtis is here. How you doing? Uh, Christina, saying hello, everyone. Tyra's on the coffee. Chris Johnson's in the house. How you doing, buddy? Nice to see you on here. Must be early for you as well. Uh, Debbie Hibbert's here. I can see Paddy's watching back from his flyer drop. Dawn McIntyre's in the house. Azakan, Khan, how you doing, buddy? I hope things are going okay with you. I know it's been pretty stressful for the last week or so. Uh, Nicole Ray's here from uh, Sudbury in Ontario. William Delorme's here. Hey, William, how you doing? It's uh, warming up for Tyra. Dagmar's here. Andy Burks is here. And Paddy McGuigan. Martin Hopkins. Happy, hoppy, happy, hoppy. <laughs> Yoha. Uh, things are progressing, Yoha, on the sale. Yeah. We've got the 17th of May as a date, if everything goes all right. Anita Rose is here from USA. Mark Vacker. He's ready, red. Leanne Bonnet's here. Uh, Debbie Morgan. Adam Brown's in the house, but Marta, how you doing? Steve Rops here. Juanita is here as well. And Mike August. Oh, numbers are going up. Fantastic. Don't tell Marty. Beth Ann Nolan's here from Michigan. Tagwa. From Cameroon, excellente, fantastic, really international today. Or is it Tangway? Tangway, I think. There you go. Okay, let's get, oh, Debbie Switzer's here. Okay, uh, let's get started then. What have I got for you today? Obviously, yesterday, uh, what a crazy day. Uh, with um, the emails, etc., that are in the back office and then subsequently got sent out to any, everybody. What I can bring you up to date with and let you know is that it wasn't a data breach and it wasn't a hack, okay? And the perpetrator was only doing it to extort funds from the founders, Hence the emails we got with the BTC and the ETH uh, addresses on there. That's what they were after. Only uh, that's all it was there after. So as far as data is concerned, uh, we have got nothing to worry about, guys. OK, uh, the other thing I can tell you is that uh, Ash is 90 percent uh, sure of who the perpetrator is. is. Uh, if there's more than one and the net is closing in on them very, very quickly. It has been escalated to the Internet fraud and they have been sent all of the information to follow up from that. Uh, but rest assured, um, there has been a complete reset. OK, uh, and at the moment, I know that they are wading through a massive backlog of emails. And that is because naturally, Everybody uh, went and reset their passwords, etc., uh, which is the normal thing to do. Uh, I know that emails are starting to trickle through because I've had a couple of people who have had the email verifications through for, our, for pending founder positions, etc. Uh, so please be patient for at least another 24 hours, guys, if you can do. Can do. Uh, myself and Marty have... Uh, escalated it uh, to Ash to let him know what the status quo is and what people are waiting for, etc. Uh, and I should have either uh, myself or Marty should have a bit more of an update, okay, as far as that is concerned. 
Um, as far as Tara is saying, uh, as far as the tracking is concerned on that, uh, this person actually did use a VPN, uh, but he Ash has got uh, some software that can also track the VPNs, etc. So uh, the net is closing in on these people, whether it is one or more, we don't know. Um, so please rest assured that your data is safe and your accounts are safe. OK, this was purely a extortion to get money uh, from the founders database it's, uh, itself. OK, I know it's uh, worrying, uh, but please also be mindful uh, that everybody has this type of problem if they are online in one way, shape or form. And to be absolutely honest, I'm surprised it's not happened before uh, because we are growing. <clears throat> we are 600 thousands strong now even the pentagon gets hacked guys you know so they they are clever people and what it's done is it's actually given us uh, the ability to know and find out how it happened and then make that area a lot lot securer now so it won't happen again in that area that's not to say that it will never happen again but certainly not through that one way that they managed to gain access to the emails uh, and the reason if you're wondering why you kept getting more emails is because once they had gained access into the email accounts uh, back office as for the founders you can set up a schedule for emails to go out and once that's set you can't stop them okay so that's why we ended up getting many more afterwards uh, but it's all been sorted now OK, uh, so there you go. As far as people gaining access to their accounts, if you've requested um, a password reset, then unfortunately, you've just got to wait for that to come through. Um, if you do not hear anything by tomorrow, then I would suggest to go to the login page, OK, and ask for a, a reset password there to see what happens. I should have a bit more information for you tomorrow. If I'm not on, Marty will give you that information uh, as well. Uh, but all's good, all's good, guys. Uh, you know, nothing to worry about, which is excellent. Uh, so it's just one of those things, you know. Um, as someone said, uh, extortionists and hackers won't target losers. So <laughs> we're definitely not losers, guys, if they are looking at us for a way of defrauding us of our money. Uh, I don't know the exact figures of how, how many people did send any funds, uh, but uh, I don't think it was massive because uh, the leaders, that's myself and Marty and many, many others actually got that message out pretty damn quick to uh, the public. So if, if you were uh, switched into what we do and what we say in the Facebook pages, uh, then, you know, then that, that's uh, that's what it was. Uh, Steve Rops asking, what's the 17th? Well, hopefully it's my uh, moving date from Hidden Valley in the south of Spain back to the UK. OK, so um, that's what that is for. Don't it's not, nothing else than that, mate, I'm afraid. Uh, we still are expecting another product product this this week. I don't know if uh, what's happened has put that on hold or not. Um, Another thing to watch out for as well that might uh, slow things down a lot is there's been a massive spike in COVID in uh, India at the moment. So I know that is getting monitored as well as we're going forward. Um, so there you go. Um, obviously, as far as should you reset your passwords on your accounts is concerned, uh, there's two ways of looking at it. I haven't because I didn't click on anything. Okay, I got the emails uh, and I, I got the message that you've got something in your back office and I hadn't clicked on any of it. And so I didn't feel the need for myself personally to reset the passwords. Um, it's something I might do uh, shortly, but obviously with what's going on and they're swamped anyway with changed passwords, okay, I won't do it. But if you have got access, okay, to your back office, the easiest way to do it, and it, it's instantly done, okay, is if you log in to your back office, and if you go to the top uh, right-hand corner, 
okay, there is a, a little round circle. It's either got your face in there uh, or your initials. If you click on that, it'll say my profile, okay? Click on my profile. And if you scroll halfway down there, it will say change password. Click on change password, fill out all the details on that and then reset your password, okay? And you can do it there and then rather than having to wait for a email if you're going to through the login page, which is what you'd have to do. So if you do have access, that's the easiest and the most recommended way of doing it um, because you can do it yourself and it doesn't have to go through support. Uh, what else have I got for you then? Um, it's Wednesday. Happy hump day, everybody. Uh, we're, like I said, we are expecting uh, maybe another pro private launch uh, this week. If not, there's probably going to be a founders webinar anyway on Friday. That will be at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. OK, so uh, look out for that if that happens. Obviously, I'll be doing my live on Friday as well. Uh, this Sunday, we've got the other another UK and Ireland fireside chat. That'll be at 6 p.m. UK time. Uh, which was fantastic last weekend, guys. Really, really enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. It was great fun, and we 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 loved doing it. Uh, also, Julian Milo do theirs, I think, on Saturday night uh, at 7 p.m. UK time. I think theirs is. And then obviously Monday again, we're back round to another week where we do the slide presentations for your uh, uh, prospects. So get them there if you can. Ah, Lynn must cross in the house. OK. Uh, what else have I got for you? Uh, pending founding positions, right? The people that who have had requested them over the last couple of days, I know you are waiting for the verification email through support. Obviously, what's happened is slow this right down. But I do know that people have started getting them within the last two hours. So please give it a bit more time. I know they are working through it now. Again, if you've heard nothing uh, by tomorrow, come back to me and I will try and escalate it again for you guys. You're all registered. OK, if I've got back to you with a done email, OK, don't worry. You're registered and it's there and it's done and dusted. I have still got um, plenty of early March 2019 if you want them. Uh, they're fantastic spots, guys. Uh, like I said, I've got nine positions now uh, for me as separate income form uh, streams. If you've got the spare cash, I recommend you have one. You know, it's as simple as that. And you can reach me either on Facebook Messenger or you can drop me an email at redredfer number one at gmail.com. And of course, if you know anybody else or spread the word, that's absolutely fine. Um, I don't mind at all who they go to. Uh, don't forget, these are um, not anybody else's. They're the companies. So uh, they everything is done through the company. You pay the company, et cetera, et cetera. And I will be the sponsor. Uh, they are getting rid of them to people who want them because they're going to get purged and they lost forever. So uh, Ash would rather it go to some founders rather than getting um, for that. Uh, if somebody can put my email in there for people to see, it's redredfern number one at gmail.com. Uh, that'd be great if anybody wants it or just uh, send me a messenger message. Uh, there you go. OK, uh, Marty is going to do a live today. And I, then I think Chris Johnson's normally straight after Marty as well. So let's go over and support them, guys. We've got up to 80 today, which is amazing. Fantastic. Things are looking good. Uh, I'm so, so st super excited still uh, with what's happening with OnPassive. Um, yes, we've had a bit of a blip, but do you know something? It's all a learning curve. This is why I keep going back to saying, uh, that's not it, Lynn. You've missed the number one off it. It's Red Red Fern, number one. Somebody else have another go. <laughs> um, what was I saying? What, what was I saying? There you go. Paddy's got it. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, about uh, with what's happening. Obviously, with what's happened, sort of uh, slowed things down and taken the wind out of our sails slightly. Um, but we are, guys, in an amazing position. Don't forget, we are founders. And a part, if you want to know exactly what a founder is, look it up in the dictionary. 
we are found finding the company and that that is our job and our purpose here is to found on passive you know and we had to take the rough with the smooth and this is just one of the rough bits that come along no that's still not it lynn you need the red uh, and the red fern together but you're getting close have another go <laughs> uh, everyone else is correct by the way just copy somebody else's lynn that'll be fine um so that's my advice to you. Uh, Chris Johnson saying hi, Jane. She said hi. Just like that, actually. Um, that, so, yeah, we are founders. Uh, and this is part of the job of what we're here to do is to make sure everything was working properly, uh, to invite other people to join us on this journey before we launch to the world. You only have to look at the quality of the products that we've seen so far. O-Tracker is completely live. And as soon as we get hold of the new back office, which we're still expecting this week, by the way, guys, there's no reason uh, for that. Um, then uh, we'll go on that. Uh, Andrew, no, I have got no information uh, on the campaigns. The campaigns will start when we start soft launch, whenever that will be. Uh, you know that already anyway, mate. So uh, um, there's no point in asking really uh, because as soon as the soft launch starts the campaign starts uh, don't forget the way that the campaigns are going to start on the soft launch is not 600,000 people start on day one it'll probably be uh, 10,000 a day on a rolling basis da, 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 all the way through because it'll be physically impossible to have 600,000 people straight out the starting gate all going out on one campaign but uh, this is why the soft launch will be running for, uh, in my personal opinion, uh, between 60 and 90 days before we hit the um, uh, the main launch. Uh, as far as the next product, Peter Surer is concerned, I haven't heard anything, but I do know that two are ready. OK, so uh, what they are, I don't know, but I do know two are ready. Uh, so we need to look out for those when we are. And like I said, as far as the other ones that we've seen, which is Academy, uh, O-Bless, O-Tracker and O-Trim, these will all be live as well when we have access to the new back office. OK, uh, so that's, again, another great step in the, in the, in the right direction of where we want to be. When th this is happening, uh, I'm not quite sure. Also, I've heard as well that as far as the new back office is concerned, all of the outdated material that was in the old the back office we got now, OK, and things that aren't used anymore, more will be taken off uh, because we just don't need them anymore, guys. OK, let's have a look. Uh... Ah, there you go. Kevin Rutledge, thank you very much. Pretty much what I said, that, isn't it, Kev? Uh, that's it. If anyone's got any questions, uh, hey, Stuart, um, just jot them down before we slide off and go and see Marty whilst I finish my tea. Kim Mills is in the house. Stuart Molyneux. Lara Hodge, uh, Hodge, uh, Oh, God. Hajokus, Hajokus, Hajokus. I have no idea. I'm just going to call you Lara. It's easy, isn't it? Uh, Juanita saying thank you very much. Anyone got any questions before I slide off? Uh, we'll go and see Marty at the top of the hour. I know he's doing some Q&A at the moment uh, over in uh, the French, I believe. Uh, and then he's coming back to do it. 80 today. That's very good. Very happy with that. The weather at the moment, Yoha, it's absolutely, well, it's not chucking it down, but it's been rubbish for three days. 30, one, three, 13 degrees today, freezing. So not good. So that's all the information. Thanks, Steve. That's all the information I've got for you um, today. Obviously, if I do know any more, I'll let you know, guys. And obviously, uh, there is things I can't tell you, um, but uh, that's pretty much the gist of it anyway. 
really uh, of where we're at with what happened yesterday. Uh, but just rest assured, guys, your accounts are safe. And don't forget as well, the other thing as well is that uh, on passive, don't hold any of our payment details. This is all through a third party. So uh, they wouldn't have any access to that anyway. The only thing they would have access to is your actual account, but they weren't doing that anyway. They were just looking for access to be able to send information to you guys so that you can then get suckered in to sending BTC or ETH to them. All right. So nasty little people, all of them or one of them or whoever. It's probably some 16 year old kid in a basement or something who's got nothing better to do. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Uh, I shall see you all on Friday. OK, if I hear anything or there's anything really important, I will. Uh, I will uh, pop on and do an extra live like I did yesterday because uh, things needed to be said. Uh, but apart from that, uh, Darren Brown O Wallet will definitely have extra security. This is going to be held by a third party. We don't know who that uh, third party is going to be. Obviously, it'll be one of the major online people at the moment. Uh, and obviously, part of your security will be KYC, which is know your customer, and you will have to go through the whole of that. Also, I believe as well, if it's like any other wallets, um, uh, before then, uh, there will you'll be able to have two FA on that as well. So that'll be an extra security measure as well. So not only will you have the KYC to set the wallet up in the first place, but you can also then uh, have two FA and Google authent authentication as well to access it. So uh, yeah, pretty secure to be honest. Uh, yeah, Andrew, I did see um, Ash's uh, face when he did the video. He was he looked very sullen, uh, and that's because it's very serious. Uh, you know, it was going to happen at some point, um, and I'm very glad it's happened now, really, because it means we can uh, sort it out before we've got the millions of people that are going to be here. Uh, exactly, Kevin. It's just a little incident that's made our security even better. You know, sometimes these things have to happen for us to know how to plug the holes at the end of the day, uh, because otherwise down the line, OK, it could have been far, far worse. Uh, and the information could have got into some other people's hands rather than just this person wanting to extort uh, the founders out of money, which is normally the, the way, isn't it? OK, guys, lovely to speak to you as always. Have a fantastic day out there. Um, contact me if you want any of the old pending founders early March 2019. Everything else is gone, by the way. All my Januarys, all my Februarys, they have all gone. So we're only on Marches now. Uh, really nice to see you all. Have a fantastic day, whatever you're doing. And I'll see you all on live with Marty at the top of the hour. Bye for now.